Welcome back to Living 808. The Honolulu Marathon is 11 days away. Now, we are helping folks get ready in our Go the Distance segments. Today's topic is about nutrition. We welcome back to the show Mariani Uihara, who is a master certified health coach, and Tim Marr, who is a former professional triathlete. Hello. Welcome back, guys. Hello. Hello. Okay. Nice. This is a big deal because I know sometimes when I eat really unhealthily, the last thing I want to do is exercise. I mean, I'm just like, oh, right? It just makes you feel bloated. So obviously nutrition is, is very important. Um, and let's talk more about that. Tell us how nutrition is important for performance uh, during training and on race day. So nutrition, it is key for peak performance. And each person's unique, so some people so people need to find out what works for them. Some people will need more, you know, like a slice of bread and smoothie, and some people will just need like a half a banana or a half an apple. Mm -hmm. But the main important thing is just eat something. Like don't work out in an empty stomach. You know, have enough energy that yeah. will help you. You did bring some things with you today, yeah. and I just want to say that um, I just I did the turkey trot yeah. on Thanksgiving. Oh, I did, and this was it. my breakfast that yeah, morning. See, see, I had yeah. <laughs> I had a piece of uh, toast oh, with um, peanut butter, yeah, yeah. and it was great. I mean, yeah, I knew that I needed to eat something, and that kind of helped yeah. me over. Yeah, but that was 10 miles, and the marathon is much longer. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, how about how you hydration? Because that's that's really important too. Yeah, you know, living in in Hawaii and racing in a, a training in a tropical climate like here you know hydration is absolutely key you know so you sweat more you know you're w with tropical climate so you want to stay on top of your hydration not just with water but you definitely want like electrolyte drinks something that replenishes those minerals all that salt loss you know dehydration is probably you know the the biggest impactful thing in a tropical climate you know race like the Honolulu Marathon or just training in, yeah. in Hawaii in general it's definitely difficult what can happen if you get dehydrated during a race oh. I mean you've got like physical right your muscles no. well people don't realize the main thing of course a lot of people associate dehydration with cramping but what really happens is your heart rate actually really climbs as you get dehydrated and that starts creating you know your system to go and then slowly, that's really what leads to cramping. So that's really the key thing is your body just has like a, basically a negative reaction to that dehydration. Yeah, that's dangerous. Yeah. Um, you did bring some things here, as I mentioned. Um, this was my breakfast, as I said, on there the turkey trot day. Um, tell me what these are, this one here. So this is a simple, um, it's called SOS. It's a real simple hydration drink that just has a really good amount of electrolytes. Um, you know, a little bit of sweetness to it, but you know, not overly sweet. And that's really the key. You just want something that's, um, of course, water, that, that water that you mix with it. Mm -hmm. It's very important. And then those electrolytes are key. Coconut water. Simple. Yeah, just some, some simple drink that, you know, you practice when you train, that you, your body really sure. likes. And, uh, and that's really the key is making sure you stay on top of that. The suggestions that you're making, I mean, that's key for training and then, of course, marathon day. You don't want to start something new on marathon day. Yeah. That's right? a good point. Yeah, and you want to make sure you drink before you're thirsty. That's a very important aspect. People wait till they get really thirsty before they start hydrating, and you're actually already on that dehydration point if you're waiting till you're thirsty. So you want to be ahead of the curve, basically. I remember hearing that. Don't wait till you're thirsty because mm -hmm. by then it's too late. Yeah. Uh, and that's just for every day. That, that's not just for marathons. Mm -hmm. That's every day. Um, Mariani, give us an example on uh, what you do before a long training session or so, race. So what we do for race day, or if we're going to have a very intense training day, we try to be very mindful of, hard, of our hydration the day before. So we have electrolyte drink and we sip all, through all day. So we make sure we hydrate our body through all day. And then we also like to have an early dinner the day prior to the race. So our body has enough time to digest and store the energy. Uh, and then race day, the morning off, I love to have to the peanut butter with honey. That's like mm -hmm. my go-to. And they love to have extra coffee. Yeah, I <laughs> okay. extra boost. Yeah. What, you know, I think when a lot of people think of marathon, they carb load the night before. Is that the right thing to do? It's you know, everyone's different and some people really that really works well for them and others don't so it's it, there is a that that idea that concept you don't really want to make a lot of changes so whatever you found that works prior to a training day you know you don't want to necessarily overeat 
you know, you'll wake up feeling a little sluggish. Your body's going through that digestive process. So you definitely don't want to overdo it. You want to find something that works, something you enjoy. And, mm -hmm. uh, and I think the early dinner is something that we, yeah. we have been recommending and it works, you know. So we talked about nutrition during training. Mm -hmm. We talked about uh, nutrition during the race. Um, I know that when I did the marathon, I had a fanny pack and I had a whole bunch of those gel packs yeah. in there oh, yeah. because I knew it was going to take me like nine hours. <laughs> to do the so it's important to stay, you know, to, mm -hmm. to eat, make sure you've got your energy up, right? What about after the marathon? Does it matter? Your malasadas. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, after marathon and after training days, you know, a protein, you know, something with protein is always uh, something that you want to have. You know, and hydrate again because you did dehydrate your body, you know, yeah. through how many hours you're there. So you want to make sure you hydrate a day, uh, but something with protein, you know, okay. a shake or a okay. nice meal. Great. Yeah. Thank you both so much for, for being here. Again, the marathon is right around the corner. Very nice. exciting. Um, you can go to their website. They have the big time clock right up on top, right? Ten, Clutch, yeah. yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. countdown. The countdown <laughs> yeah. to the marathon. Uh, coming up on Living 808, it is a gift that keeps on giving. After the break, we're going to tell you which 25-year-old tune is making another appearance on the Billboard Hot 100 list. And later, it's all about total home performance.